different. I just want to know what you suggest, because back then, when I was in your position, I was suggesting we bomb Belgrade. I was suggesting that we send American pilots in and blow up all the bridges on the Drina. I was suggesting we take out his oil supplies. I was suggesting very specific action. And isn't it interesting that we didn't... I had to get another video out today because we have some news that uh, I want to get out to everyone. And you just saw a video, a segment of Joe Biden in 1999 bragging that he was the one that suggested the bombing of Belgrade. And that was a bombing that took place in 1999 of, uh, of Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. It was 78 days of NATO bombing of a European capital city. So when Olaf Scholz went to uh, Moscow before the, the Russians launched their uh, military operation and the Chancellor of Germany actually was stupid enough to tell uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin that we have never had a war in Europe like what was uh, about to happen in Ukraine or what was possibly about to happen in Ukraine because this was before the operation was launched. Well, it just goes to show how ignorant and stupid he was when making those, uh, those comments. But there you have Biden, then Senator Biden, bragging about this bombing. 78 days from the 24th of March to the 10th of June. And that included the Russian uh, Orthodox, uh, the Greek, Russian, Eastern, uh, Orthodox Easter, uh, Serbian Orthodox Easter, which is called Baska. And that included bombing uh, Belgrade even during Baska. I actually visited uh, Belgrade a few months ago, a few months back, and actually saw some of the buildings that have been preserved by, uh, they've preserved the bombing that, that were ruined. The, I believe it was the, the, the building of uh, the Ministry of Communications or Commerce. Um, anyone from Belgrade, from Serbia, correct me if I'm wrong. I think those were the buildings that were preserved. Yeah, you can actually see what, what NATO did to those buildings. They, uh, they were not rebuilt. So the bombing, uh, the bombing of those buildings is there for everyone to see. If you uh, go to Belgrade and you visit Belgrade, which is a beautiful city, by the way, uh, a fantastic city, and I recommend uh, if you have the chance to visit Belgrade, definitely do it. But why do I bring up this video? Well, this video has gone viral. It has gone viral now in uh, Russia. It has gone viral in China. It's gone viral in China. Now, Russia, you could say, okay, I can see why the Russians want this video to go viral. It'll serve domestic propaganda purposes and it'll paint uh, Joe Biden in a certain light. But the fact that it's going viral in China is really interesting because the Chinese came out with this statement because the U.S. has been pressuring China to turn their back on Russia. And Alexander has done a countless uh, amount of videos where he's chronicling how the U.S. diplomacy, the Biden diplomacy, the Blinken di diplomacy, is working overtime to try and uh, drive a wedge between uh, Russia and China, and they're failing at each turn. They continue to fail in uh, moving China away from Russia. And the video that I did this morning had a tweet from a well-known Chinese uh, journalist who said something along the lines of, yeah, let me uh, turn my back on my friend so that you can then you know, go after me so that then you can you can attack me. And, uh, you know, that's that's how China's looking at this. China understands that if they were to turn their back on Russia, which they're not, but if they were, well, then it would only be a matter of time before all the, the sanctions and this regime change uh, dream, this regime change mission that's now trying to be uh, executed in Russia was turn towards China. It would only be a matter of time before everything that they're, they're doing to Russia, they would do to China. And this has nothing to do with, with the conflict in Ukraine. And I, I want to stress that the sanctions that were, that, uh, were placed on Russia, I believe would have happened with or without Ukraine. I believe they would have gone after the central bank. I believe they, they would have, uh, embargoed Russian, uh, oil and gas. I think all of these things would have happened with or without uh, what happened in Ukraine. But anyway, you know, China is giving a lot of pushback and I'm really starting to believe that the Biden White House is stupid enough to open up a second front in this economic war, not only on Russia, but on China. 
And even NATO, and I'm going to read this to you, I've got it pulled up on my phone here, even NATO is warning China. NATO is warning China to turn their back on Russia. And let me read this to you. This is from uh, the Chinese government. It's a readout, which says, according to reports, NATO Secretary General John Stoltenberg said yesterday that any support to Russia, military support or any other type of support would actually help Russia conduct a brutal war against an independent sovereign nation, Ukraine, and help them to continue to wage war, which is causing death, suffering, and an enormous amount of destruction. He also claimed that China has an obligation as a member of the UN Security Council to actually support and uphold international law and join the rest of the world condemning Russia's invasion. And this is what China answered with regards to John Stoltenberg and NATO's statement. They said, we have taken note of relevant remarks. Chinese people can fully relate to the pains and sufferings of other countries because we will never forget who had bombed our embassy in the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. We need no lecture on justice from the abuser of international law. As a Cold War remnant and the world's largest military alliance, NATO continues to expand its geographical scope and range of operations. What kind of role it has played in world peace and stability, NATO needs to have good reflection. That is some statement coming out of, uh, of China. And the reason they made that statement with regards to Yugoslavia is that on May 7th, I believe it was May 7th, during the 78 day bombing campaign, which Biden said he had suggested that he was pushing for, Senator Biden at the time, well, they bombed the Chinese embassy in, uh, in Belgrade. They bombed the Chinese embassy in Belgrade and China has never forgotten this nor will they ever forget this. And so that's why they're throwing this right back at Stoltenberg's face. And the reason I'm talking about this is because, you know, in, in the video I did this morning, I said, is the US really crazy enough to start sanctioning China? Are they really crazy enough to open up another economic front against China? And uh, I'm starting to believe that they just might be. You know, the Biden White House, they have no reverse gear. They have no reverse, re reverse gear, and it looks like momentum is just carrying them towards disaster. Unless this is the plan, unless they're actively working on systems collapse, because you have to actively want systems collapse to go after China now. I mean, they've got it with Russia. You've already got it with Russia. You want to now accelerate it by going after China? I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Uh, 